How was the previous uh, seminar that you attended for the diving community? I think some of them were divers mm. and they were asking questions like, oh, yeah. so now you're going to replace the divers. Yeah. As a diver, sometimes you feel a bit of a threat. You just think about your job security. Typically, divers will end at 45, 50, but using this technology, you can extend that further. Divers can think of this as a threat, or they can think of it as a way to upskill themselves. If they are open to it and they see that man and robot can actually collaborate to achieve more, then it will be a positive outcome. Singapore is a maritime nation. There are a lot of critical infrastructure like internet cables, oil and gas pipelines. They are actually connected around the world with uh, subsea infrastructure. And that's why underwater inspections is very important to keep this kind of infrastructure safe. Robots is a good alternative to scale up the requirement to keep every part of our island safe. How we started was because I was very interested in autonomous technologies and I just saw a huge potential in the maritime industry that is in a way rife for disruption. We met here in National University of Singapore competing as two separate teams working on autonomous underwater vehicles. We built a robot and competed for Singapore in the US. That first robot won Singapore the best new entry during that year. That gave us an insight onto how these kind of new technologies can help change the world of underwater inspections. It's just about providing a lot more data and information about the environment and the structure or the asset that's being inspected. We named the first vehicle A Ikan Bilis to signify that it's small but mighty. Today, A Ikan Bilis is the most compact vehicle that holds this number of sensors with capabilities that can exceed vehicles that are four to six times larger than it. We are launching Beta at the end of this year. Beta increased the capacity by 10 times, so the battery size has increased by 10. Beta is a vehicle that everybody around the world is uh, actively anticipating because what we are delivering to the market is specification that has never been seen before. A lot of the work was being done with human divers, which is very unscalable. I think the industry has always been trying to balance productivity and sometimes uh, when you have humans in the loop, uh, you can always make a human decision to override the safety factor. Since 2018, there has been a rise in diver deaths. In the diving industry, it's actually very easy to talk to someone who has lost somebody. Divers are supposed to come out of water whenever the currents uh, exceed one knot. But due to the fast pace of uh, maritime movement here in the Singapore harbour, sometimes the divers will still take a risk. People on land cannot see what you're doing down there. But what we cannot control is the marine life. Uh, there are crocodile sightings. Yeah. And that put it all stop to us yeah. for, what, three to four days. If you want to get more work done within a harsh environmental conditions, a robot actually extends the duration that you can collect data underwater. Some of the forward-thinking uh, companies have already switched their methodology to using our vehicles. Divers, they are actually good in areas which we cannot match up to, like all the dexterous kind of work which humans are generally better at. It's just that some of these more repeatable work is still much better done by vehicles like ours. I think a lot of people don't see how big of an impact vessels are to the industry. Every year that uh, our vehicles are operating, we are removing the equivalent of 1,500 cars on the roads. It is a time of change. What we see today in young people is that a lot of them are hustling, right? But the question is, what are they hustling for? What actually makes you happy at the end of the day? What does success look like to you? When you're really passionate and about doing what you're doing, it also helps you get through the tough times. Knowing that our work is going to help impact things that are beyond us, things that can save lives, can save infrastructure. I believe that BX is one of the best ways that I can contribute to change the world.